Among the tens of thousands of faithful who gathered for Easter Sunday in Vatican City, perhaps the most emotional moment occurred between just two people. Pope Francis, the newly named pontiff, reached out to a young disabled boy holding and kissing him. And to the Pope's gesture, the boy returned what seemed a pretty joyous smile there on his face. The boy's name is Dominic Gundro and his mother is Christiana. And they both join me now live from our bureau in Rome. Thanks for being with us, Christiana and Dominic. You're very, you're very welcome. How did this moment come about for, for Dominic? <laughs> Well, um, we, we actually were able to sit in the handicapped seating. We had to leave the rest of our family out in the crowd. Mm -hmm. And usually my husband goes in, but this time he said, why don't you go in? And when the time came for the Pope to um, get in the Pope Mobile and make his rounds, we had a very kind usher that I think got in his head that Dominic needed to be kissed by the Pope. So he repositioned us at the intersection, and the Pope came by once. And um, he didn't mm -hmm. even look at us. He was looking the other side. And then um, he apologized. And I said, no, really, it was great. And then mm -hmm. we got wind that he was coming back around. And um, so he actually picked him up. And the rest of the ushers, being the second time around, <gasps> helped stop the Pope Mobile. And he raised him up. So and it's I kept thanks my mommy hand so he wouldn't fall. I see. So it's thanks to one usher so and then several other ushers for stopping the Pope Mobile. What was it like? I mean, yes, talk us through Augustino. that particular moment, which was unexpected because you didn't go there thinking the Pope was going to give Dominic that kiss. What no. was it like going through that moment and living it? Um, really remarkable. Um, already it was moving to have gotten so close to him, but also to have this this usher, this kind man, really initiating the um, the this moment was really quite touching, and there was not a dry eye around. It was very moving, and everybody just even said thank you to us because of the moment that they were able to be a part of. It was very, very moving. And what about Dominic then? What did what is he making of it? What did he make of it when it happened? Um. He had been quite agitated throughout the whole mass, uh -huh. and afterwards he just calmed down. It was quite remarkable how different he was, just to how he was just calmed down. But he's very simple, and he, if you ask him, you know, did you hug the Pope? He'll say yes. I mean, um, he decides when he wants to talk, but... So he says, if you say, how was it, he'll say, great. <laughs> Thank you so much. And the Pope did yeah. whisper to him, but it's a secret. Do you know what he whispered to him? I wish I did, but I do not. But he whispered something into Dominic's ear. Yes, he did. Yes, so it's still a secret. Thank you so much, Christiana and Dominic Pindro, for very joining us from Rome there. A very touching moment there during uh, the Pope's... Uh, uh, Easter Day procession there at Vatican City. Thank you.